Wynn is very much at the frontier of research on a global stage. Waterloo Institute for Nanotechnology is embracing the fourth industrial revolution. Waterloo saw an opportunity to be a leader in a field that was emerging. What drove the formation of WIN was a feeling that we had to bring together researchers on campus from different disciplines into one building where we could interact. It's bringing in people from different disciplines. And it helps with the value it brings to this university. People work on different fields to come under one umbrella. We can talk, we can work together. I think that's driving force. Otherwise, we isolate in different buildings. WIN is at the forefront of solving big problems that we have with the various backgrounds of the people that we have at our institute, we can tackle these challenges together. In the coming decade, WIN members will play a significant role to meet some of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, be it good health, clean water and sanitation, be it affordable and clean energy. WIN will play a pivotal role to providing solutions that will have both the societal and economic benefit for all Canadians. Nanotechnology is, is really becoming increasingly important in specific areas of nanotechnology where as a group of researchers we think we can really make a difference. After a couple of years of being with Waterloo, I decided to take on a new research avenue in which vibrations is actually useful. I'm trying to now extract the kinetic energy that is normally going to waste through vibrations through spot materials technology to produce electricity and power sensors. Helping with the energy crisis overall, it's, it's one of my greatest research goals. So when we started out our work, we were building X-ray detectors using a variety of different uh, materials, um, circuits, architectures, so on and so forth. Grand Challenges Canada invested in us to create a very low-cost X-ray detector um, for medical diagnostics in low- and middle-income countries. You can get cheap, effective healthcare without worrying about infrastructure like large hospitals. You can use things like teleradiology. So you could have a doctor sitting in another country who's able to diagnose um, the disease using the image that comes off these plates. In my lab, I'm using sustainable methods to create novel carrier systems for delivering drugs in the pharmaceutical industry. The future of nanotechnology, it enables the delivery of drugs in a way that we haven't previously been able to deliver the drug. It enables targeting. It enables using lower dosages to help minimize side effects. It enables new modalities for detecting disease. The humanitarian component in me that was motivated by the infectious diseases led me to this field and made me realize the nanotechnology can be very, very cutting edge at solving all these health-related issues in the world. Our work is making an impact on global healthcare. It's helping improve people's lives, especially in low and middle income countries, because we're helping provide them affordable, accessible, and high quality healthcare diagnostics. We do instruments, miniaturized instruments for chemical analysis. So what we're trying to do is bring part of the uh, lab to the sample, such as a miniaturized instrument. It's all new, it's transformative, uh, it's paradigm shifting. Uh, we, you, but the value would be to have answers on the spot when they're needed the most. WIN will probably be looking at not just the University of Waterloo, but beyond the University of Waterloo. We are making more and more impact, not only in Canada, also internationally. WIN is perfect for me to um, meet people in the other disciplines. I can't really resist <laughs> not to join WIN. <laughs> I think the future is very exciting, and I think WIN will continue to blaze that trail. Things that were thought impossible, now they're becoming a reality. The future is bright.